Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to compare and contrast Google Jamboard with Microsoft's whiteboarding app, Microsoft Whiteboard. So these two different apps are both web-based. They both have app versions. Uh, for Jamboard, you'd have to use the Play Store app on your Chromebook, um, but they have very contrasting strengths that I wanna demo for you now. So let's go into Whiteboard first. So this is Microsoft Whiteboard. Uh, both of these are great tools for collaboration, brainstorming. So if I'm in Microsoft Whiteboard, first one, templates. If I click here, look at all these templates that are ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Learning, this one is really nice. So for instance, we could do a KWL and just throw that in there. And now I have this huge KWL uh, that is a template that's ready to go. Let me just undo that real quick and get back to what we had. But yeah, templates, there are no templates in Jamboard. So way to go, uh, Whiteboard. Uh, reactions. So there are reactions in two places in Whiteboard that I really enjoy. One, in the actual notes. So when we put a note in there, so under notes here, all of these have places for these four emoji reactions, but also there is a reactions button where you can pick from these eight right here. So that's something that Whiteboard has. I really wish I saw that in Jamboard, hopefully soon. I will note that the undo redo, or which are the most important buttons in any kind of collaborating Whiteboard app are similar in both. Here in Whiteboard, undo redo. Here in Jamboard, undo redo. Excellent, thank goodness. Now, in Whiteboard, you do have shape recognition. And what I mean by that is if I start drawing, so let me start drawing something. And that's not much of a shape, right? But if I go over here and I enhance ink shapes, so that should have worked. Let's see here. Oh, there it did it. it. It does a bit of an auto draw. So if I do like a triangle here, that should work. Yep, there you go. That is really, really nice. Now in Jamboard, uh, on the mobile app, you have a shape recognition. And here you have shapes, but there's no free hand to draw a shape. So something better for uh, Whiteboard. Uh, from there, arrows when drawing. So when you draw you can set it to have an arrow on one end or have an arrow on both ends. Pretty nice, I like that. Um, there's also more note and ink colors. So here, if I go here, I have all of these colors. Uh, in notes, I have these colors. In Jamboard, my sticky notes, I'm limited to those five. And for the pens, I'm limited to these six. So. Uh, a little bit more color in whiteboard. Uh, from there, pen tool slider. So if I use a pen tool, I have thickness slider right there um, that I really, really All like. Right. So now that's just... nice and thin. Um, in Jamboard, there is no slider with those ink tools. Uh, from there, uh, documents. Uh, if you insert a document here under documents, it's only going to give you your PowerPoints and your PDFs, and they will come in as images. Now in the mobile app or Jamboard, you can add docs, PDFs, PowerPoints as images again, um, but you can't do that on the web. You have to do the screen capture, but on the documents here in Whiteboard are so limited that you're gonna probably wind up doing screen captures and inserting those as well. Um, the app and the web uh, in Whiteboard are very similar. So this is the app. If I go get the app right here, it, it's basically the same thing. In Jamboard, there are different features in the web and the app. Uh, in Whiteboard, very, very similar. And there's more shapes here. So if I click on shapes here, as you can see, there's more shapes there. Uh, the shapes in Jamboard right here, I only get about eight of them here. So a little bit more. Uh, in Whiteboard. All right, let's talk about Jamboard strengths. So Jamboard's first strength, I'm just gonna call pagination. There are multiple frames in Jamboard and you can go across frame by frame. You can't do that in Whiteboard. I don't know why, it's just one canvas and that's it. So that is a little bit difficult. I really wish there was pagination in Whiteboard. Google Classroom integration. It is very easy to assign a Google Jamboard Jam to students in Google Classroom. Microsoft Whiteboard does not have that ease. Uh, additionally, there's make a copy. If I click three dots and click make a copy, I can copy this jam. I can also do that by right-clicking the jam in Google Drive. Microsoft Whiteboard, 
it's apparently impossible to make a copy of a whiteboard. So that's something Microsoft needs to work on. We talked about undo and redo are very similar across both platforms. Text box on both, it's kind of meh. So when I click on the text box here and I include text, there's not a lot of formatting, not much I can do, but the same goes in whiteboard as well. When I click on text, it's just this one font, uh, not very exciting to me. And the templates are a way to get around that, but the components of the text boxes and templates don't actually appear in that basic text tool right here. So that's just something to think about for both. The text box is not that exciting. Uh, there are four drawing tools in Jamboard, these one, two, three, four, including this one called the highlighter, which would really, should really be called the etching pen. And this one, which is truly a highlighter, don't get me started. In Whiteboard, there are seemingly four, but this is, these three right here are all just a pen. They're all just different iterations of the same pen. So in theory, you could have different iterations of the same pen ready to go. Um, and then there's the highlighter here. It's really just two kinds of pens, whereas Jamboard has the four. Additionally, there are more op options for adding images in Jamboard. So in Jamboard, if I click on add image, I get, look at this, including my webcam, which is wonderful. If I do the same in whiteboard, it's Bing, which is coming soon, or just upload from my device. No URL, no webcam. So yeah, much better for adding images in Jamboard. And custom backgrounds. So here I can set my background here and include any image at all, including my webcam, including by URL. In whiteboard, if I wanna do a background, I can format background and I can choose one of 10 colors, one of nine patterns, but I can't upload an image to be my background. So that is some comparison and contrast of Whiteboard, Jamboard. I will say if you are a teacher in a Microsoft district, use Whiteboard and use it in Microsoft Edge as I'm doing here. If you're a teacher in a Google Workspace district, please take advantage of Jamboard and do it in Google Chrome as I'm doing here. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.